Imagine the person you trust most in the world, betraying you in the most unimaginable way. It's like a sucker punch to the gut, taking the wind out of you, leaving you gasping for breath while your mind struggles to process the unthinkable. The sight of your partner, your confidant, intertwined with your best friend, is a sight that burns into your memory, a scar that time may never heal. In the deafening silence that follows, their excuses tumble out, hollow and meaningless. It didn't mean anything, it just happened. As if such cliches could mend the shattered pieces of trust. And there you stand, a silent spectator to your own heartbreak, questioning every whisper of doubt you'd ever silenced, every red flag you'd conveniently ignored, every late night call, every unexplained text, every just out with friends excuse, suddenly take on a sinister hue. And in that moment, the walls of trust we'd built come crashing down, revealing a house of cards. The days that followed were a storm of revelation, each truth more devastating than the last. It wasn't just one betrayal, it was a series of them, like a string of bombs detonating, each explosion ripping through what was left of my trust. I found myself lost in a labyrinth of lies, every turn revealing another deceit. I thought back to the signs I'd brushed off, the late nights, the unexplained texts, the moments they were just out with friends. I defended them, convinced myself that my friends and family were wrong. But now their words echoed in my mind, a haunting chorus of I told you so's. How many lies had I swallowed? How many times had I turned a blind eye, choosing to believe in a facade rather than confront the truth? The realization was a bitter pill to swallow. It was like waking up from a dream, only to find yourself in a nightmare. But amidst the chaos, a mirror emerged, reflecting something I'd been ignoring all along. It was not just about their deceit, their lies, their betrayal. It was about me. I had been living in denial, hiding from my own insecurities and fears. The fear of being alone, the fear of not being enough, the fear of facing reality without the comfort of an illusion. I had clung to the notion of a perfect relationship a perfect partner, a perfect life. I had convinced myself that every late night, every unexplained text, every moment they were just out with friends was just a part of the beautiful tapestry we were weaving together. Each thread, an intricate lie, woven with expert precision. I wasn't just betrayed by them, I betrayed myself. The mirror reflected not just their infidelity, but my deepest fears. The betrayal wasn't just about their infidelity. It was a mirror reflecting my darkest fears. Stripped of illusions, I stood at a crossroads. The path on the left led back to a past tainted with deception, a hollow echo of what once was. The road on the right, though uncharted and daunting, promised healing and self-discovery. The choice loomed large, a test of my courage and resolve. This ordeal, as gut-wrenching as it was, had taught me the value of authenticity, of facing my fears and insecurities head-on. Yes, they had betrayed me, but in their deceit, I found a mirror reflecting my own denial. I had been running from my fears, hiding behind the facade of a perfect relationship. Now the facade was shattered. The ugly truth was out, and it was time to confront it, to confront myself. The journey ahead was fraught with uncertainty, but it was a journey I had to undertake. It was time to face my fears, to heal, and to rediscover myself. For in the ashes of betrayal, I found the seeds of resilience.